how is mixed strategy profiles and players' payoffs are uh, related? Put differently, uh, given that I select one strategy profile, how can I calculate uh, each player's expected payoff? Well, the idea is simple. By using the strategy profile, you have to calculate the probability distribution over outcomes, meaning the probability distribution over the set of all terminal histories. Once you determine this probability distribution, well, the rest is easy. You just multiply uh, a, the utility, the, the von Neumann uh, Morgenstern utility of each terminal history times the likelihood of this uh, history. Um, and then add them up. So this is how we calculate the expected payoff. Well, the question is, how do we determine this probability distribution over terminal histories? Well, it's going to be a bit more complicated than pure strategies version. Well, but this is how we do it. Well, for any mixed strategy profile, uh, but don't forget, I am going to be using the mixed strategy profile, including the nature or, or the chance. If the chance is not included, well, I'll just ignore it, all right? Well, for any strategy profile, uh, any strategy profile is going to induce a, 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 this probability distribution, O superscript sigma. Well, it's a probability distribution over the terminal histories, and O sigma Z basically tells me the probability that the history uh, Z will be occurring if players play this strategy profile, mixed strategy profile sigma. Well, here an important notion is uh, necessary, which is consistent, a uh, history being consistent with history. Uh, strategy being consistent with history, I'm sorry. So take any history H with length capital K. All right, so it's a history, so it's in H. Well then take any player um, the, the, this argument can also hold for nature and any strategy of that player, SI. All right, the strategy SI is called consistent with some history H if for every truncation of this history denoted by H sub L, which basically means the first L period. All right, so L, uh, K minus L periods at the end are ignored, so we just look at the first L periods of this history. So I call it truncation, L truncation of this history H, with any L less than K, uh, for which the player who moves after history HL is player I. Well, in this case, we must have the following. Player I, after history HL is actually choosing a L plus one, which was prescribed in this history. So give yourself a few moments to understand what this definition means. But if you go back to our example, player one moving left, right, and then player two, remember uh, X, Y, and then player one moves uh, BF, BF, remember? So in this, I, I ignore the second part. So in this example, uh, the player's strategy L, B, C, L here, B here, and C on this part of the game, or L, B, D, they are consistent with the history L, X, B, for example. Well, why is that? So, or L, Y, B. Well, why? Well, because according to this strategy, uh, history, I'm sorry, L, X, B, player one is supposed to play L and B which is the case under both of those strategies. However, those strategies are not consistent with, for example, another history, LXF, because according to this history, player one is supposed to play L and F, but neither of those strategies dictates player one to play F. All right, so therefore S1 and S1 prime are consistent with history H, but they are inconsistent with history H prime. Well, why do I care about this? Well, because remember my argument in the previous episode, I said if player one plays one, uh, S1 with one half probability and S1 prime with one half probability, well, you know, the, 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 the likelihood of reaching to this history, at least for player one, uh, concerned is probability one. All right. So therefore, all I have to do is the likelihood that player one is going to be playing a uh, player two is playing X. And so I need to multiply that probability with one. All right. Well, 
Um, given that uh, we defined uh, consistency, well, I'm going to denote, uh, this is capital S sub I H, uh, meaning this is a subset of capital S I, meaning set of strategies. So this is set of strategies of player I that are consistent with history H, assuming that history is uh, a, a non-empty uh, or null history. So that set is, uh, I mean, that it is a well-defined uh, set. Okay, well, here's one more uh, obstacle before our calculation of the outcome function. Well, remember, we, I said we do not make randomization uh, over strategies for the nature because, well, nature is not a player. So, but nevertheless, in order to use this simple quote unquote notation, because it also includes the nature, I need to transform the nature's uh, behavior uh, as if it is a mixed strategy. So how do I do that? Well, again, if nature is not part of your game, you can ignore this part. If it is, however, well then remember the nature's probability distribution over outcomes after history H, SCH is the action player nature is going to choose or play uh, after history H. And BC this is the likelihood that this action will be played by the nature. All right, well, what you have to do, you just multiply those probabilities because we assume independence again, so you can multiply them. Uh, multiplication uh, basically uh, goes over all the histories that belong to uh, nature or the chance, meaning all the histories where the chance is supposed to play afterwards. So once you make this multiplication, you're going to get this term which you can interpret as like a mixed strategy of the nature's nature, all right? Again, it's not a player. Uh, it's just mathematically uh, making our life easier here. Well, finally, for any terminal history, because I, I mean, did this O, the outcome function, doesn't speak for non-terminal histories. It speaks only for terminal histories. So for any terminal history and for any mixed strategy profile, the um, probability distribution over outcomes is O sigma Z is basically this. You multiply bunch of things. Some of them are going to be summed up. Well, how so? Well, look at player I's uh, strategy, a mixed strategy. What is the likelihood that player I is going to play this pure strategy SI? But this SI has to be consistent with the history Z, like S1 and S1 prime here. If they're not consistent with history Z, well, then you shouldn't uh, think about those probabilities, all right? You should only consider uh, strategies that are consistent with Z. All right, so for all those pure strategies, what is the likelihood that player I is going to play that um, mixed uh, 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 pure strategy? Well, for example, here it's one health, one health. So if the history is LXB, I, I will talk about a more detailed example later, but if this is my Z, the, the, the history, well, then this is gonna be one health plus one health one, all right? Well, then, uh, once I calculate all these uh, probabilities for each player I, well, I have to multiply player one's probability, players two probability, players three probability, and nature. All right, so multiplication of all those probabilities are going to give me the likelihood of uh, the history Z uh, being realized, okay? Um, so let's give an example. All right, so I'm going to talk about the same numerical example we keep talking about. So let's consider the following uh, mixed strategy profile, sigma. Uh, player one, sigma one, player two, sigma two. So what is the player one's uh, mixed strategy? Well, he is mixing, uh, remember he has eight pure strategies, but he is uh, mixing, uh, over only three of them, LBC, so LBC, he plays this with half probability, LBD, LBD plays this with 
0.3 probability. And finally, sigma 1, uh, RBC, I'm sorry, RBC, he plays this with 0.2 probability. Obviously, they, they must add up to 1 which is the case. And player two, he, she plays XW with 0.4 probability and, and, and XZ with probability 0.6. So again, uh, uh, sums up to one. Well, here I actually, given that players play this strategy profile, question is what is the likelihood of reaching every um, uh, terminal history. There are eight terminal histories, LXB, LXF, uh, LYB, LYF, etc. So I already calculated them, but let me show you how we find those values, at least for some of them. So let's look at the first one, LXB. Okay, so this is the history, LXB. All right, so what is the <clears throat> likelihood that player one is going to play all right so this is this sum part all right for player one and then sum part for for player two and then i will multiply those probabilities okay think it that way so what is the likelihood that player one is going to play consistently with lb all right well according to this he will consistently i mean he has two strategies that are consistent with history l XB, which is this strategy LBC and the other one LBD. And the likelihood of this is 0.5 plus 0.3, all right? So this is 0.5 plus 0.3. Uh, in this third strategy RBC, this is not consistent with uh, LXB, right? Because player one is playing R, all right? Well, what about player two? What is the likelihood of his strategy that is consistent with LXB, meaning he plays X, she plays X. Well, she plays X with probability one, in fact, right? Because there are two consistent strategies for her consistent with history LXB. XW is one of the consistent histories and XZ. So therefore, player two's consistent strategies uh, with the history LXB is the likelihood of those strategies is 0.4 plus 0.5. So once I, so, oops, 0.6, I'm sorry. So meaning one times 0.8, so it's 0.8. This is how we get it. All right, what about this? Well, LXF is the, LXF is the uh, history. Well, which strategies of player one is consistent with L, X, and F. Well, as you see, player one doesn't plan to play F here because he plans to play B always. So therefore, his likelihood, I'm sorry, the, 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 the likelihood that player one is going to play some strategy which is consistent with L, X, F is simply zero times, what about the likelihood of player two? Uh, player uh, two, yes, who cares? Zero times any number is zero anyway, okay? Well, what about here, LYB? All right, so LYB. Let's look at player uh, two first because uh, none of his strategies, which he assigns positive probability, I mean, he has other strategies, I'm sorry, other pure strategies like Y, W, Y, Z, but he assigns zero probability to those strategies, so I can ignore them. So the, the pure strategies that he will be playing with some positive probability, which one of them are consistent with L, Y, B? Well, none of them, because he's intended to play X. So, well, it's zero. Well, what about this one? Well, L, Y, F. Well, again, the same idea, player two has no intention to play Y consistently with Y, so therefore it's zero probability. Well, what about this one, R, W, C? So let's focus on, or let's look at player one or two, doesn't matter, uh, but player one first. What is the likelihood that player one will be playing some pure strategy consistent with this strategy, R, W, C? Well, W is not his choice, R and C are, and R, C, he will intend it to play only under this pure strategy, and so its likelihood is 0.2. So with 0.2 probability, player one will be playing his consistent strategy, RBC. And well, what about player two? Player two 
What is the likelihood that she will be playing some strategy consistent with W? Well, she plays or intended to play W only under this pure strategy, which is going to happen only with probability 0.4. So therefore 0.2 times 0 0.4, 0 0.08. So uh, this history will be realized with this probability. Well, what about this RWD? Well, RD is never supposed to happen because player one will never play some pure strategy uh, uh, that plays R and then after D. So it's zero for that reason, regardless of the player two's likelihood, by the way. But I know that, for example, because player one is playing W, it's going to be uh, 0.4. So zero times 0.4 is zero. All right. Well, here, obviously, LYB, it's zero because of player two. But player one is playing a strategy consistently with L and B is 0.5 plus uh, 0.3. But nevertheless, the outcome is the same. All right. I'm just giving this so that you can uh, uh, sort of uh, understand how we are making all this calculation. LYF is zero times zero. I mean, neither player one nor player two is expected to play consistent strategy, pure strategy, consistent pure strategy with this history. What about this one? RZC. Player one is supposed to play a consistent strategy, RC, with probability two. Player two, on the other hand, is supposed to play, uh, you know, consistently with this history, only if he plays XZ, which is supposed to happen with 0.6 probability. So therefore, it is 0.12. And then finally, RZD. Player one is never playing, uh, sort of planning to play RD, so it's zero times. And player two will play consistently with Z, only with probability 0.6. Doesn't matter, it's zero probability. So, next thing, what is the expected utility of player one under this com complicated strategy profile? Well, a uh, bunch of histories are going to happen with zero probability. So I can ignore them because they will be multiplied. You know, some of those payoffs will be multiplied by zero. So therefore, just look at the probabilities which are non-zero. Um, so this is the first one. This is the second one. Or this history is the second one. This is the first one. And then this is the, uh, the third one. So LXB, LXB. So this payoff will occur positive probability. RWC. R, so this payoff will occur with positive probability. And then finally, RZC, uh, this payoff. So that means player one's expected payoff is he's going to get four with probability, remember, 0.8, plus he's going to get three with probability 0.08. And then he's going to get zero with probability 0.12. So this is 3.2 plus 0.24, so it's 3.44. That's his expected payoff. What about player 2? Well, 2 times 0.8 probability, 3 times 0.08 probability, plus 5 times 0.12 probability. And let me just uh, cheat. I already calculated that. So if you add them up, you're going to get 2.44. So this is how we calculate expected payoff of player one and two, given a, a mixed strategy profile. Okay.